But here's something that's really important. I don't think a lot of people do this, Nate. In order to make any change and, and get to any other level, no matter what it is, whether it's you know being a better person, um, achieving something with school, with work, with racing, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You have to be able to visualize, actually visualize what life is going to be like, okay? What your new life is going to be like. So you have to visualize it, but more importantly, you have to feel it, Nate. In today's video, we're gonna be going over quite a few things, but the main points are definitely Talk to Eric Lujan, founder of Craft1861. Talk about fitness, health, definitely during COVID, it's hard right now. Talk about financial, you know, jobs. How is Craft1861 holding up during the pandemic? And we're gonna talk about mental health, which he is renowned for. He used to be my mental life coach. He used to be, you know, a really influential person in my life, still is. And he has so much knowledge to share and I wanna bring it to you guys. So yeah, let's get going. Let's go pick him up. How's it going, Mr. Lujan? You know what I need? What? A cup of coffee. Yeah, let's go. Let's go get a coffee. I'm Eric Lujan. I'm the founder of Craft 1861, which uh, happens to be one of the proud sponsors of uh, Nate Aranda and the Hunkos Racing Team. Uh, really excited to, to catch up with Nate. It's been a while, right? Since we've, uh, since we've hung out yeah, and we've been on the road nonstop. And in yeah, the past, COVID. without COVID, you know, I would be on the road 40, 50 uh, trips a year, but been uh, staying close to home in beautiful Albuquerque, New Mexico. And, just like to, to be with you today, man. Yeah, yeah. What are you planning for in the future? You know, is there anything exciting that, yeah. you, that you're, that you're, you know, right now you're already starting putting it in motion and, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, well, strategic planning is sort of the name of the game, I think, with any business. And, you know, and I think definitely the people who, you know, follow you, uh, I know your demographics, you know, probably a little bit younger than, uh, than maybe some of the people that, uh, that, you know, that engage with me. But if you can be, again, grateful for what you have today and then look beyond the next six to nine months, right? Um, look to 2022 um, and then really look at what can you do in 21 to work towards your goals, right? Yeah. And I really feel like this is a time for growth. You know, this is a time to make those changes. Uh, you know, we've, we've all got more free time on our hands if you are, you know, in a state that's shelter in place or locked down. So, you know, now is the time to really be thinking about, well, what changes do I want to have, right? And, and I feel like collectively right now, this is the time for change, you know, in yeah, a good way. Yeah, and there's so much time to be able to do it too. I mean, uh, even if you are, you know, working but you're, you're at home, you know, you can, you can apply yourself in multiple ways. Absolutely. But before we go in, um, yeah. just to tell people, mm -hmm. um, Eric Lujan is a long time, I've, I've known him my entire life, basically growing up and he's was like a life coach to me and my fitness coach before I got really into, into you know, racing and all that. Um, Cause Eric Lujan, um, can you tell me what you were again? Are you an ex-athlete? Yeah, yeah, I was a, I was a professional triathlete um, yeah. and, and uh, endurance athlete. So I was fortunate, you know, to race around the world. And, yeah. and I think our common ground was, you know, nobody really had come out of New Mexico into triathlon and, and really had done something that was very unconventional. And yeah. I know when you shared some of your early dreams of, to, you know, to be an international race car driver, you know, a lot of people thought that was crazy, but I didn't. And I and I yeah. think that's probably why we became kindred spirits. You know? So the reason I bring that up is because so people know when you're talking about, you know, health and lifestyle and, mm -hmm. and how to be, you know, mentally fit and, you know, safe is, you know, it's coming from the right place. Hey, brother. How are you? Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hey. A couple things. So we're at Castle Coffee in, uh, in downtown Albuquerque. Uh, that's Josh Castleberry. He's the, he's the owner. Yeah, but if you're in Albuquerque, it's the absolute best place to come. So all the fans of Nate um, drop in and, and get uh, juiced up for a big day of training, right? Yeah. So, yeah. cool. All right. I don't know what it is about the vibe of this place right now. Like the colors and the yeah. music. This yeah. is actually Guinness Book of World Records winner. What, what is this? What, why? Because what it has the, this is, um, God, I forget what they call this, where they're oh, dots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's but this is the large, it's one of the, it's the largest mural of the little dots. Look at that. Marquez Torres is the artist. Marquez Torres. Yeah, and, he, Marquez, and he, Torres. Mar Marquez Torres. But yeah, this is uh, this is his his work right here, yeah. man. How nice it is 
to get out like how much do you appreciate it now like if you go out and you talk to somebody you don't you, you have obviously during covid you're not going to go up and talk to some stranger right up in the face or but you have a passing conversation with somebody you don't know isn't that like one of the best feelings again yeah and i and i think it's something we probably took for granted a bit wouldn't you agree i mean i think we took for granted the fact that you could go anywhere go out do things you know it's very similar to having a sports injury right yeah. like you take your health for granted until you don't have yeah, it when you're with my back it's yep. the same thing it's like oh my god things are great or like when you're when you're when you're not sick and you're like oh yeah I can breathe at night my nose is fine and then you go to bed and you, yeah. you, you and know then, exactly what yeah yeah think about it <laughs> like damn it I remember all those times I had a nose that could breathe and it was great yeah you know but that's what I'm talking about it's just it's sad but it's also good that people are realizing like, what's important you know you know what's your approach right now with you know from a from a mental standpoint I mean I know that you know a lot of the I'm trying to go about it I don't wear I don't even wear a fitness, I don't wear a heart rate monitor, I don't okay. wear a fitness band, I don't track anything anymore. I go for time-wise. Okay. And I know, I, I, I do, now that we've been doing this, I mean, you were one of my mentors, Kathleen was one of my mentors. Mm -hmm. What I was saying in these videos is I'm learning from you guys and I always mm -hmm. have been even since I was younger. It's as simple as, as, you know, taking a few deep breaths and sitting in a quiet space yeah. and thinking about what it is that you want to change or how you want to improve. And then it's really just a matter of you know, really visualizing what that's going to be like, and then and I just think it's so that, hard you know? right now to be able to. Because I used to do that. I used to meditate. I used to mm -hmm. do yoga. But I think it's hard right now for a lot of people. Yeah. Because we're stuck in our houses so much that it doesn't really feel like a place that we can unwind at. Is that make yeah, sense? Yeah. See, and I don't, I don't agree with that. I think that that that's a, an opportunity. I think to, to, I mean, even like uh, some spring cleaning, if you will, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> really, just thinking about your space in a different way, and and uh, and and really just. You know, it, it, you can have a tiny little space that's your quiet space. You know, I have a friend of mine who lives in a tiny little apartment in a big city, and she took one of her closets and made a like a little puja table and or a little room to be able to meditate and relax. You know, she did that uh, in in literally in a closet. We just got back, and mm -hmm. you know, before you get out of the car, before mm -hmm. I leave you, what do you think about it? It's pretty badass, right? Yeah, I think the car is great, man. I, I it, you know, it's it's one of these things where like I'm, you know, I'm, I'm fortunate to own some really cool cars, and you know, I've driven some cool cars, and I think this Rolls Royce, what they've done here is they've taken. You know, really that that kind of performance feel, but really have have given you that luxury package. Yeah, you know? I love it. Going over bumps, you know, we got bumpy roads. Yeah, I was driving in the Albuquerque. backyard yesterday. It's yeah. great. That's why I like it. I mean, it doesn't feel like a big car, but it can get around. It it's doesn't, like but it truck. but it gets around really, really well. You know, I don't know if I, you know, if I'd be the one to to <laughs> spend that kind of money on it. You yeah, know? I think. Uh, 360 starting is a pretty big uh, And you're a car guy yourself, right? What type of car do you have? Um, I have a, a Maserati Gran Turismo. That's okay. my daily driver. And then a, a, a Porsche 911, a, a fully restored 73 911. I think uh, the next time we talk, we got to go take that out. I think we need to take out the, the convertible and go for a ride. Yeah, what do you I say, man? So cool. Especially when well, it warms up. Yeah, absolutely. Well, appreciate the ride. Thanks for the coffee, brother. And good luck this week at uh, your testing. Thanks, man. Okay, talk I'll to see you guys later. Well, hey, guys. Thank you for watching today's video. I can't express you know how grateful I am to be able to drive a Rolls Royce, especially to this Cal Caliber. Um, I'm really really excited to drive more cars in the future and entertain you guys so if you have any questions or you know anything drop a like drop a comment and I'll respond to them as I always do whether it's be on Instagram or uh, YouTube as always guys spread some love today and I'll see you next time